How's it going folks? Trying to get Bianca in the fishing shop there. Um, yeah, we're just tossing a couple of pellets in for the fish, see if they'll finish them off. They've already been fed a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, it's always nice to show you guys the fish feeding, but I don't think they're too interested tonight. Their bellies are already full. Uh, this week's clip is uh, something I've already shot for our supporters. I was hoping to do a more um, compre comprehensive clip looking at um, caterpillar control in aquaponics and a bit of a general update, but we've just had rain pretty much all well every second day, so you know, use the treatment, it gets washed off, so I've just been putting it off. I've been doing the manual removal technique. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at a clip I shot earlier in the week, looking at um, flow rates in the system, trying to collect a few more solids in the radial flow settler, and also a bit of an issue we're having with a potassium deficiency. So I'll give you a bit of a look at that and um, yeah, and I'll finish off at the end. Afternoon supporters, uh, the fish have just been fed. I believe that was probably the last pellet just being um, polished off then. Uh, they'll get fed in another couple of hours. Um, I've actually, you can probably tell the um, overflow pipe is a little bit more exposed than normal. I've slowed the flow rate down through um, the system. So we're running at roughly around about 1500 litres an hour, which increases the retention time in our solid settler. More solids out there, and also the retention time in the moving bed bioreactor. And as you can see, those pads down there really aren't that dirty. And they were last clean on the weekend, and today is Thursday. Yeah, so um, hopefully there's going to be a load of more solids in there to empty out. And just to show you the um, nitrite, I haven't really been testing for the nitrate, but that was a test I did this morning. It's discoloured a little bit. Sorry if it's a bit blustery there in the mic. A bit hard to make out there. It has discoloured a bit, but it was sitting around about zero parts per million this morning. So yeah, things are going okay on that front. Uh, pH-wise, I have been using a lot of potassium this week to bump the pH up. We'll see if we can do it this way, 20 degrees Celsius tends to come down faster than go up. Yeah, so we're sitting at um, 6.7. We're not having those ammonia issues anymore, but yeah, with the water temperature at 26 and um, 6.7 on the pH, it wouldn't be an issue. I hope that last clip helped you folks, by the way, as well, because uh, I know a lot of people say you need zero all the time, but yeah, it's just one of those things. A lot of people will say that because um, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't understand the pH and the water temp, very easy to uh, knock off your fish. Been getting a lot of these guys. Uh, I just lost him. Where is he? Ah, I just lost him. Big grasshopper. Um, but yeah, we have been getting a lot of those guys off the system and I've just been throwing them straight in there for the fish. I also caught a nice big caterpillar um, having a munch on the cos before. It got fed to the fish. I'll just bring you around here and show you the potassium deficiency. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's potassium deficiency or just heat with the basil, but over here on the um, the uh, eggplant, uh, what you tend to get, actually this is probably a better example, here we go, this one's just starting, you get a little bit of chlorosis um, towards the tip of the leaves, and then you start to get these necrotic spotting, and there's a leaf a little bit further along, and then one further along again until you get around to something like these guys over here. So the plant on, on the whole is doing okay. There's another big one to come off there. I'm still getting fruit on there. Um, just not a lot of pH, uh, pH uh, potassium available to it. It could have been a pH issue, but I doubt it very much. So um, what I've been doing is using the potassium bicarbonate. Here we go, potassium bicarbonate. They're just the instructions I left for Maya when we went on holidays. So I've been putting two scoops of this in at a time when the pH gets down to round about. And that's bumping it up nicely, um, just a few points at a time. Um, so you do use a lot more of this, the bicarbonate, than you do with the hydroxides. But it's just, yeah, just what I bought bulk of. I got a bulk bag of this, so I'm just going through it um, slowly. And then I might end up getting the um, potassium hydroxide. That's the ascorbic. Um, that's the calcium hydroxide or Bricky's line. I might end up getting a big bag of the potassium um, hydroxide next because you just use such a small amount. I, someone told me, I've never used it, someone told me actually use less than you do with the calcium hydroxide. So yeah, just a little bit of a look at what's going on with the um, aquaponics. Oh, we also had some issues with the carrots over there. I was running that bed as a constant flow and guess what happened? The carrots rotted out. But this bed over here has been left as a um, flood and drain most of the time. 
except for when we had that extra rain. So that's a little bit of a um, B-roll that'll go into a clip, just looking what, looking at what, you know, are good crops to grow in aquaponics. Don't hold your breath for that one. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll have a clip out this weekend, but maybe next weekend I'll have one looking at the fish farm. Uh, the hatchery, I know I told you guys I was going to work on it this week, but yeah, I just haven't got around to it. Been busy with family and other bits and pieces, so yeah, I'll just finish off giving you a look at the chilli here. This is the RG Amarillo, and we have got some really nice fruit set on there. And there's another one over the back there. So I'm, yeah, really looking forward to these guys ripening up. Oh, those, um, those shotgun holes all through the leaves. It was actually supposed to be in the clip for this weekend, treating pests. But I think I'm flat out tomorrow as well, so I won't get a chance to um, shoot that. But I do need to treat these guys with dipole, so I'll do that as the B-roll and add that to the clip later on, I think. Unless, by a chance, I get to shoot the clip tomorrow. But anyway, I'm just rubbing on now. I'll let you guys go. I do hope you're all well and happy. Oh, and by the way, there is a hangout this weekend. Hope to see you there. And look after yourself, folks. Catches. Our little green tree frogs chimed in. Um, yeah, this week I was hoping to do a clip on the Aussie fish farm. Uh, we went up and visited Bruce and the boys late last year, and I took some footage up there. What are you doing here? I know you. <laughs> you're the Unfortunately, it wasn't the most complete clip, so I'm just trying to um, work out what I'm going to do with that. Add a little bit of um, yeah, explanation over the top, maybe get in contact with Bruce and see what we can come up with. But hopefully that video, oh, those clips will be turned to in, into a video, Bruce, just for you, um, later on in the week. And you guys can check it out probably next weekend or the weekend after. Um, there's also another clip looking at um, the plans we have for the backyard. Bianca and I spent last weekend walking through the place trying to work out yeah what we're going to do with the property hello all gone. it's all gone? all gone no more fish food left no um so yeah they're coming in the next couple of weeks um i would like to let you know though hello bianca <laughs> try to chase bianca um i would like to let you guys know that i will be coming back the amount of videos posted to youtube for a little while um yeah i just need a bit of a time off been doing this for over 10 years plus trying to run a house and then money on the side and I just think I need a little bit of a break from the pressure to posting to YouTube at the moment um, but yeah I'm still doing consultations on the side and I'm still posting to the supporters and that sort of thing so just for a little while there'll only be one clip every couple of weeks unless I feel motivated through the week and get some um, spare time but we really need to get on top of some other bits and pieces like sorting out um, yeah basically other income sources and fixing up the backyard so I had something to film on the garden side of things so yeah, that's just what's going on here at the moment. I do hope you <laughs> enjoyed the clip on the aquaponics though. And hopefully I will be back next week, fingers crossed, for a bit of an update either on the patch or um, yeah, look at uh, the Aussie fish hatchery. So there you go. I would like to thank you all for coming along and checking out the clip so. And as always, thank you very much to the supporters out there. I will pretty much all leave it there though. Time to go up and make some dinner. I hope your gardens are all booming as well and I will catch you later. Cheers folks. So there's our little green tree frog friend. For whatever reason he's decided that the bearer under the deck is a nice place to hang out. So yeah, he's been rather noisy the last couple of days, but we've had a bit of rain as well. But I'll let him be. Have a good one folks.